Hey folks, Adam Dupay here. I am an assistant professor at Arizona State University. And one of the questions I get frequently from people is how do I get involved in security or how can I up my security and my hacking skills? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna kick off a series of me working through some uh, war games that are available online, but I first wanted to give an introduction as to what these things are. So the great Zardis, who is Jan Shoshishashvili, who is also an assistant professor at Arizona State University and who I work with very closely, he organized this great uh, list of war games in this war game ne nexus GitHub repo. And the idea is that to develop and learn security skills, we really need a place where we can practice our skills and so that we can get better because uh, like I, I like to tell my students, reading about the theory behind, let's say, a buffer overflow or some kind of vulnerability is one thing, but actually taking that knowledge and putting fingers to keyboard is completely another thing. And so if you want to get good at security and you want to really up your CTF skills, working through these war game challenges are a great place to do it. So uh, Jan here has gone through and created a bunch of links to good challenges. Um, one a really good challenge that I'm gonna start off with is, and so some of these are kind of general. If you've never used Linux before or you're very new to this, I highly recommend going through Bandit. Actually, I um, have my students in my classes actually work through these war games as part of uh, a homework assignment so that that way they can get comfortable with command line skills. Um, there's other, and these are in the the beginner categories, you have Bandit and Leviathan. Uh, what we're gonna be playing, and what I'm gonna be working through is Ponable.kr. So these are all various binary challenges. My background is much more on web hacking and web vulnerabilities, so I really want to try to up my binary hacking game. So I'm gonna be working through these, and I thought it'd be fun to record that and share that with you as we're going. So if you've never done this before, you do need to have some background information. Um, I actually highly recommend this book, Hacking the Art of Exploitation. This is the second edition. While it's not um, super modern, you won't get all the crazy heap overflow, overflow ROP style vulnerabilities. It's really good for describing the basics and really getting you used to understanding how to actually go about hacking binaries. So this is a great book and honestly, it's not very expensive. So I highly recommend it. Another resource that can be useful, so I teach a uh, graduate course at ASU called Software Security. And so this course, uh, all of my, my resources from this course are online. So you can go through any of these slides that I have. If the main one would be application insecurity, this will teach you about uh, how to break applications. And I've also recorded all of my lectures here, which are on this YouTube channel. So you can go through and actually see uh, me talk about and give lectures on how to go about exploiting these these services. Um, I'm also the little shout out. I'm a faculty advisor to the Pwn Devils. Uh, we're a CTF team, and we like to compete in security competitions. And with that, I think I will end it. So, how do you play Pwnables.kr? It's actually really simple. You um, you go to Pwnables.kr, uh, which is a huge shocker. Uh, you create an account if you don't have one, otherwise you log in and it will tell you. So you can see here I've already beaten the first six levels as I was playing through this. Uh, what you do when there's a level you want to beat, let's say with this first one, you click on it, it will show you, okay, uh, mommy, what is a file descriptor in Linux? Uh, and so it will tell you to, hey, SSH this user fd at pwnable.kr on port 2222 and use the password guest. So you copy paste this into a terminal and so this is a, the other thing I highly recommend, uh, the password was guest. The other thing I highly recommend, this is a uh, Ubuntu 1604 virtual machine that's running on VMware locally on this Mac. And so uh, I always like having a Linux box locally so that I can test things with and mess with. So here we can look and we can see, okay, there's an FD binary that is set UID of FD underscore pwn, which means that this binary, when we run it on this server, will execute with the privileges of F FD underscore pwn user. And if we check out our ID, we can see that we're ID this, and we can see that there's a flag there. So the flag, so if we try to read the flag, it'll tell us permission denied. 
We can't do that. The only user who can read it is ftponent root, which means by breaking this binary, we should be able to read this flag. And then we should be able to cat out fd.c. And so this will tell us and describe the C code that actually got compiled into this fd binary. And with that, I'm gonna leave it here because I don't wanna give out any spoilers just in this introductory video. So have fun and hack on. Let's see if that works.